Hello and welcome back to the How To Edition with Salesforce with Steven. Today, we're gonna to talk about merging fields. Last time, we spoke about changing our auto number versus our text number when we create objects. Now, why are we, would we want to talk about merging fields? So for instance, let's take a look at our teacher's fields. With our teacher, we have our auto number. That's how we track the fields. But are we gonna be able to say, hey, let's say we do a report. How do we know what teacher is what? Are we gonna remember exactly what number is what teacher? So let's take a look at this. First, let's put in a new teacher. So for our first name, let's have Sue Smith. And for her specialties, she does IELTS, let's say grammar and conversational English. She enjoys teaching kids and adults. And then we'll save this one. So if we come back to our teachers, we can see now that she is TN0002. We have this right here, exactly the information we put in. But again, when we go to our teacher's object, we see that it is TN0002. So if we do a report, then she's just gonna come up as TN0002. But let's see about merging fields. So let's come over to our setup and go into our teacher object, our fields and relations. Let's click new. And which one will we do? Let's pick formula. Click next. The type of formula. So here, let's put in our teacher's name. And then we'll put in a text formula. And we'll have our advanced formula. Insert the fill. So how about we start this one with our teacher number, insert, plus. Now we can use the operator of the concoct. I'm going to say this incorrectly, <clears throat> where we can use the and symbol or um, concatenate, but I prefer using the plus symbol. So let's insert another field. How about our first name? Insert, then we'll use the plus again. And then let's insert one more field and our last name, insert. Next step. Let's check our syntax. What do you know? No errors found. Let's click next. As a friend of mine said, next, next, save, next, next, save. But here, at this moment in time, everything looks good for me. I'm not worried about adding our, um, our partners. This, everything looks fine. Let's click next and save. Remember, whenever we go from our setup, back over to our production. What do we need to do? Refresh. So let's refresh. Let's jump back in and check out what Sue looks like. And hey, do we see our new field teacher's name? Wait a second. That looks like it's all smushed together. What can we do to fix that? Let's jump back in and see what we could do to fix that. So <clears throat> let's come back under here to teacher's name. Let's click edit. And since it's all smushed together, now of course I did not put in a description. So under the description, we'll put in our teacher number and teacher's name. As always, I like to put in description and help text. Then come back down here and what we can do is we'll put our quotes, space, and then um, our quotes again. 
don't forget to put another plus sign. Then we'll do this one more time, our quotes, space, plus sign, and then our plus sign. Now what this does is this gives us a space in between here, so that way it will look better. Let's check our syntax. Everything looks good and save. Once we go back to, into our org, what do we do? Refresh. Ah, it looks nice and pleasant. So now we have a beautiful naming convention. So when we do reports, we can now select our teacher's name. And now we know that TN-0002 is Sue Smith. Now this can be a little bit more complicated when we have master detail relationships. And we can do this even more, which will be another how-to addition in the future. But that's a simple way how we can merge fields. And there's many more applications for this. Leave in the comments, what do you think? What are some other applications for why we merge fields? I hope this helps and I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.